wanted to make a quick video just to kind of possibly help some people because I know there's probably a lot of misunderstanding regarding inflatable boats and the baffles that are in between each chamber. For example, you know, some boats have three, five chambers, right? So what it is, is it's not just a section, a wall in there that's separating each tube. It's actually a baffle, right? So it's, it's like a dome, right? So the pressure will, that dome will slide from side to side, depending on what the pressure is. So the reason for that is that so that you can have some safety in your chambers as pressure increases, with especially with the use of an overpressure valve, which most boats have. When mine is kind of hidden right now, it's hard to see, but there is an overpressure valve, an overinflation valve that lets out pressure as it builds up from the heat, you know, of your boat being in the sun all day. So what happens is most people don't understand this, but if you fill up all your chambers evenly, you're not really doing the best service for your boat and for those baffles to work correctly. Right, so what I do is I inflate since there's only one overpressure valve and it's on this front front tube chamber, I inflate all my tubes to about one 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 psi or so, and then what or two psi, and then what I do is I'll inflate this front one with overpressure valve all the way to its max stated pressure that it needs to be at, and then I go ahead and inflate the other tubes to their set pressure. What does that mean? That means that the baffles that are attached here, separating these two chambers, are pushing outward into these chambers, right? So as the pressure increases from the sun on these chambers, it's gonna push that baffle out towards the front, which is what you want because you want that overpressure valve to work as, as it needs to. If everything is filled up the same, to the same pressure, those baffles are gonna be kinda of even in the middle which means that you're not gonna, it's just not gonna be the best setup because you need that pressure to basically come to the front and push out through that overpressure valve. Um, so that's kind of how I do it. I know most people don't even think about this stuff um, and it's quite crazy. Uh, if you've ever been out on the boat, uh, I do a lot of fishing um, and as the temperature starts climbing during the morning hours, all of a sudden it's dead quiet on the, on the water and you start hearing a hissing sound. First time I heard it, I literally thought I sprung a leak, but it's actually the overpressure valve doing its job releasing air.